Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard and in this video I'll be focusing on uh, standard normal distribution and using a normal distribution table to work out the uh, probabilities. Uh, you don't need to use uh, normal tables if you have a graphics calculator. In my previous video I've already uh, gone through uh, using a graphics calculator to find the uh, normal distribution probabilities. If you haven't already, please do check that video out. So you just need to know that uh, any normal distribution can be converted to a standard normal distribution and vice versa by using the uh, z score formula which is given by z is equal to x minus mean over standard deviation and uh, mean is the uh, mu symbol there x is the value that you want to calculate for and uh, sigma is the standard deviation the standard normal uh, data will have a mean of zero and standard deviation of uh, one and uh, uh, this formula gives us the z value and uh, it is the number of standard deviations the x value is from the mean and we can uh, use this to find the uh, standard deviation values uh, that are not exactly one two etc you will need the z value if you are using the standard normal uh, tables to find the probabilities uh, where mean will be zero and standard deviation is one and also if either or both mean and standard deviation are, are unknown in a given question then you can use this uh, formula to convert it to a standard normal and find the corresponding z value then by substituting this in the uh, formula and rearranging or solving it simultaneously you will be able to find the actual mean and standard deviation uh, of the uh, problem that's presented in context so in summary tables only work uh, for a mean of zero and uh, standard deviation of one so if you're looking at the uh, tables uh, please uh, take note that uh, it only um, gives you the value from the mean which is zero to a chosen uh, z value and uh, we can use uh, properties of bell-shaped curve uh, symmetry to find the probability if it is below zero in some instances that value will be negative so we can use symmetry to uh, find those uh, probabilities as well uh, just keep in uh, mind that the total area underneath the bell-shaped curve will be one so if I shade everything above zero that will cover 0 0.5 so um, the probability between zero and z will be less than 0 0.5 as uh, indicated here and in the assessment, you will be given a table like this. So as you can see in this table, the standard normal table will have a Z column, which is in uh, yellow over here. And the Z values uh, can be up to two decimal places for this uh, table. And uh, the uh, white section here has got all the corresponding probability values. So in the next example, I'll show you how we can use this table to find the uh, corresponding probabilities. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.